went down to a gas line and we spotted some hogs. Hoppy, Hoppy says, all right, RJ, here comes the four. RJ's first gator. This was the most excited we've yeah. ever seen RJ. Yeah. The choice is about three things. Real hunting, going after the animal of your choosing with the weapon you have. Real adventure, from the mountains of Canada to the desert to Mexico. But most of all, it's about real people. Hunters with families, jobs, and dreams. Their skills will be put to the test. Every situation is different. Success or failure. It all comes down to the choice. That one's for you. Oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> Welcome to this week's The Choice. And The Choice, well, guess what? It's what? all about the kids. It is, it's all about these guys back here. We're heading down to Hoppy's Osceola Outfitters. We're gonna go some hogs and some gator hunt. Yep, and the kids do some damage with their TCs. That's right, this week's lucky logo is Caldwell Banfield. Oh so my look gosh. So logo at the end of the show. We're gonna tell you what to do with that. That's pretty cool, lots of great stuff. You know stuff. Caldwell, the lead sleds and all that stuff that yep. helps us. Yep. They're in a hurry, huh? What are you in such a hurry for? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we got Addie's hunt up first. Yep. Joe's daughter, Joe Rush's daughter, Addie, she's up, and she's going to go after her first stalk. She's uh -oh. going to spot and stalk a hog down at Hoppy's. So. You got this girl is a, go. just a, a little doll. We better go catch up yep. with them. Oh, you got the key? No. Come on. Those little Those brats. Little brats. Addie got her first chance to hunt last year with a crossbow, and she's six now. She wanted to move up to the TC223 like her big sis. So we put her on the sticks, let her practice with the 223, red dot Here scope, same it. thing as a crossbow, right and she was smacking the target. Good job. You're only about a half an inch from the black. Mike was guiding, we saw all kinds of pigs, lots of encounters, had this big black board, just didn't come together. Six years old, you can't have a lot of expectations uh, for them to make it happen real quick. Things gotta be right, and she didn't wanna push it. Work our way down in through the palm meadows, and lo and behold, there's a whole bunch of pigs in here. <laughs> Look up here. Look up here, Addie. Yep. I got him. You got him, didn't you? Yep. As soon as I shot it, my heart heart went like like that fast, and I couldn't even stand on one foot. <laughs> Posse punks, do it again. <laughs> the one morning we got up, we got out, it was kind of foggy. We went down to a gas line and we spotted some hogs. Instead of using my crossbow this year, I picked up my TC223, and um, it took uh, about 10, 20 minutes for a big hog to come out, but um, a lot of little pigs just kept running across the road over and over and over. Light's getting better and better and Happy Happy says, all right, RJ, here comes the boar. Congratulations, sis. When you come back, let's see if I can get a big old boar. 
I think, that, shot, I think but... that was the biggest boar I shot yet. <laughs> RJ was on him, and he let that TC bark, and he hit it just perfectly. Right, boy. Yo. Whoa. Oh. Just a little spider. Oh. Come on. Three. <laughs> oh. Hate spiders. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. I hate spiders. Dead yet. <laughs> Sweet. That was a perfect hit, buddy. <laughs> we're perfect. Good you see job. that? I knew I could see the, where it was leaking a little bit, but look how small. See how small that bullet is when it goes in? Mm -hmm. It's right there. Nice shot, RJ. How many pounds do you think he is? Take a guess. Mm -hmm. Well, guess. How much do you weigh? 100. 100, okay. Size yourself up with him. How much do you think he weighs? 100. I'd, I'd say, say 120, 130. You guys are pretty close. I would say about 20 pounds. Your <laughs> 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 wishing. <laughs> nice hug, RJ. Thanks. Now it's your turn. Good luck. Thank you. Uncle Hoppy's gonna take Danny out on a hog hunt, and um, we no sooner turn the, off the, the ranch road, and uh, we see a big old black hog right next to the pond, and this is a big boar. Look right down the edge of the road, see it down there. We went out and we saw this really nice boar by the pond, and all we have to do is get a little more closer, put up my shooting sticks, and then there we go. Up and go, up and go right there. He's pacing away from us right now. Get your gun up. We slip into position up on a, a high point on the, uh, the edge of the pond there, and all we gotta do is have that pig turn, and the wind shifts. Stuff that's home. Let's go see if we can get on another one. Let's, we haven't been been out here for five minutes, and we got this one spotted, but just uh, didn't happen. Didn't happen. Let's, let's walk on while it's already the big ones are out right now. I'm trying to hurry and cover some ground, but we're gonna have to really take our time. So we're gonna walk right up. We're gonna walk right up here. Well, Uncle Hoppy was right. We walked a few more hundred yards and we saw this big red pig feeding in the palmettos. So I was just waiting for that red hog to give me a shot. All of a sudden, the big gray boar ran right and straight in front of us. set up on this red hog. And Danny couldn't see it real well. Case is back here and he can signal. That big dog, if you've seen it, that big gray boar went right across about 15 yards. There's still two more went this way. Let's just ease on up this trail and see if we can hear them moving around. Well, I never got a shot, so me and my dad are up early, and we're ready to try again. I'm here with Mike, the guy, and my dad's filming, and I'm going to see if I can get myself a pig. 
Well, me and Mike didn't see a lot of hogs right away like we did yesterday. And well, we had to walk a long way looking for them. He's coming out right here, right here. We got my shooting stick set up and now I'm ready to shoot. I wanted to be ready if that hog gave me a shot. If it comes out on the road, shoot it. Okay, get caught. Get ready. Stop sideways. Take it. She smoked it. What a shot. <laughs> Danny was confident enough to take the time, put that red dot on his shoulder, and drop that hog right there in his tracks. I'm telling you what, I was one proud papa at that moment. Well, this hog, I was hunting for about four, three or four days, and today I guess I just got lucky. And thank you, Uncle Hoppy, for inviting me down here. Thank you for helping me. And Mike is a big help for a guide. Dad's a good cameraman, and I'm just glad he walked out. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Go to facebook.com slash Ralph and Vicky. Welcome back, I'm Rotten Top Lizards. Hoppy decided, you know what, RJ, you are ready to go gator hunting. And RJ said, absolutely, he got pretty excited. He went and took his TC again, and we went out looking for gators. What we've been doing is we go out during the daytime, put on the predator call or the baby gator call, and we set up and play the call and wait to see if gators come in. I think the gator were trying to get in front of us still back their way. So what we're gonna do is sneak back down because I think we're too far away. You can't hear our call. So we're gonna move on down. So let's go on back down and see if we can get, get set up again. I don't know, I think we set up 12 or 13 times before we actually got to where RJ could get a shot at a gator. And all of a sudden, we're in this one pond, and you know we're wait, we're wait. We know there's a few gators in there, and this other one pops up, and you know it's not the one we were, we, we thought. My first skater, it took a while for him to actually come up. Cause we saw him, he went under, and then he came back up later. shot the gator and it gave us the wave we were throwing a hook in trying to get the gator out and we can't get him and yeah. he goes you know what she goes i'll settle this we'll get it done quicker she goes and she goes down to bike shorts in the tank hops in yeah, that nasty water, water and goes and recovers yeah, rj's go. gator rj Woo! you gotta grab hey. his tail rj hey rj All right, RJ, your first gator. Congratulations, buddy. Thank you. You made a nice shot. Mm -hmm. How far was it? Four yards. Yeah, that's about right. How long do you think it is? Five feet. I'd say you're about right. <laughs> <laughs> He's got all his toes, all his feet, all his legs, and all of his tail. Mm -hmm. And part of his head.
Welcome back. Nice gator, RJ. You ain't seen nothing yet. Well, it's the same day that I shot my other little gator right there. And uh, we just spotted another one on the way back to the lodge. And I think I'm gonna try to get my second one in one day, in about one hour even, too. <laughs> Under an hour. <laughs> We get everything set up and we're sitting there and we're waiting. And Hop says, you know what? He goes, he's gonna come up over across this pond here, across this open pit of water. He's been hanging out in that corner. We'll just sit here and wait. I, I think it probably was 15, 20 minutes where normally you'd say, all right, you know what? The gator's down. He probably went somewhere and he's gone. Well, all of a sudden, the, I'm over to the right. I hear them and I could hear him whisper going, he's up, he's up, can you see him? And there's no splash, nothing. It just went under the gator. And uh, it, when it was coming back up, all you saw was a wet be wet white belly coming up, hit the top, and it came back down. Yeah, baby! Yeah. Look at yeah. that! Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I honestly think that this was the most excited we've ever seen RJ so far in all his hunting because it was it was a gator that he, he wanted to get. Here it is. RJ. And it ended up happening. Bingo. Oh, hey, 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 hold on. There you go, buddy. Here's another one. <laughs> Two. Two in a row. Woo! Nice gator. <laughs> RJ. The reason I like hunting because whenever you like, whenever you're gonna shoot something, or like once you're done shooting it, it always makes you feel like so happy and you get all that drilling, adrenaline. It makes you feel like you wanna go crazy and scream. Hey! Yeah, buddy! Posse Punks, do it again. We hope you enjoyed this week's show because we didn't get to see it. We don't even know what it's about, really. Actually, we do. We, a we Addie do. and Danny and RJ shot hogs and gators down at Uncle Hoppy's Asu Outfitters. Thank you so much for letting us have them come down there all the time and enjoy that. Yep. This week's lucky logo was Caldwell. Caldwell. Batfield. You know the lead sled. That's right. If you happen to see it, log on to choicetv.com. Click on the lucky logo button. Someone's going to win some great stuff. See you guys! Next week's show <laughs> Please is... Please forgive them. Next week, Trophy West, BC, BC Spot Bears, and Stalk Bears. That's right. You the ultimate bear Don't hunt. want to miss that one. We want to thank you for making your choice. The choice. We'll see you next week. And I got you a couple choices to make again. for them, huh? I'm going to grab the keys. They threw the keys, those little rats.